I've been feeling ridiculously crafty lately, so I figured today I would talk to you guys about making stuff, but I kind of feel like something's missing. If we're going to be talking about things that people make, I think I've got to put my wall back up. That's better! A while ago when I first started putting up the original incarnation of this wall, a lot of people were asking me to make a video talking about it and putting it up and showing all the artwork a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Um, I'm going to make a video about that. Um, so I guess look out for that in a couple days. Now on to business. Crafting is awesome. I'm the type of person who doesn't stick with one type of craft. I look online and I look up tutorials and I buy books and I learn how to do new things all the time and it's a blast. And the newest thing that I've been making lately is needle felting. And if you don't know what that is, you pretty much take wool like this and you stab it repeatedly with one of these terrifying really sharp needles with barbs on the end. Um, and you do that like a bajillion more times until it turns into something like this little owl that I made. This one took two hours and um, it's really super tiny so <laughs> I originally started making these because I thought that it would be a cute thing for my Etsy shop but they take a really long time, so maybe I'll practice and I'll get a little bit better. The only issue with it taking so long is that I would need to charge quite a bit of money for something very tiny. And I like to make things affordable for people, so... The first project I did was this little mug, and this one took four hours. There's just something about starting out with all these raw materials and ending up with something cute that you've entirely made with your hands and it makes people smile and that's just like one of the coolest things. I love that about crafting. I love seeing how people react to the stuff that I make. You're not just making a product to sell it, you know, it, it takes a lot, of, a lot of time and a lot of heart and a lot of hard work and then you get to see how happy it makes people. Music is like that as well, um, but to have something tangible that they can take home and remember and love and see every day is pretty cool. For our wedding, I made these little table numbers that I Mod Podge um, with the pages of a Harry Potter book, and I it took a lot to get me to rip up a Harry Potter book, but I want to make it last, and I want to make as many cute things out of it as possible. What I've been working on is um, these little collages of the Owl Henry that I designed. Here's the 8x10. They're all completely different. I bought all this really fun patterned paper, and I've just been cutting it out and Mod Podging it to the Harry Potter book pages on campuses. I'm gonna make a bunch more and then bring them on tour this fall. And if people like them, I could eventually put them on Etsy. One thing that people ask me about a ton is when I'm going to make more plushies and put them up on my Etsy shop. I haven't had an extensive amount of time to dedicate to making these. I also don't have a sturdy enough table in my studio yet to actually be able to use my sewing machine. This is the last of the little plushies that I made before the summer and um, his name is Rutherford, he's an orange cat. Ah! These little guys make me super, super happy. So I think probably what I'm going to do is when I get home from tour, I'm going to make a whole lot. In addition to making my own, I really enjoy other people's artwork as well. I'm really lucky to have subscribers and people who listen to my music who are also really creative. So in addition to all these really cool pieces of art that I get to have on my wall, um, a lot of times people make things and bring them to me at shows. This summer I got some really cute uh, amigurumi snitches. Super cute! People made things like this, and the beautiful Five Awesome Girls die that somebody made for me. Yesterday I was able to go to the RISD alumni sale. I went into it thinking that if everybody who went to the Rhode Island School of Design is, is as talented and wonderful as my friend Karen Cavett who went there, then I'm gonna want to buy a lot of things at this sale. And I did! I bought a good amount of stuff! I got this gorgeous hat. She actually dyed the wool that this hat is made out of, and it's super gorgeous. The amount of work that went into this, down to the dyeing of the wool is really impressive to me and I love it. I also bought this original painting by Eloise Narragan. Um, it's a little badger. Since I am officially a Pottermore Hufflepuff, <laughs> my, uh, my life has been uh, validated by a social networking website once again. And I needed to have something badger themed in my house to celebrate. I also got this. It's a print um, by Anna Alter who is an illustrator and she had a bunch of books that she had illustrated out, um, but there's this adorable little mama cat hugging some kittens. I've noticed that um, my taste in art is typically very childlike and whimsical and sweet. My friend Rhonda, who I actually met because I was buying so much of her jewelry because I loved it, um, actually tweeted that she was there and selling stuff. She actually made wedding bands for Matt and I. And this is the first time that I got to meet her in person, so I went up to her table. I ended up hanging out with her and her husband Elijah. Their company Figs and Ginger is probably my favorite independent crafting business. I got this necklace. 
I also got new earrings from them. Their stuff is super, super just sweet and adorable. And it's, it's the exact thing that I was talking about, about how crafting makes you feel good. It just warms your heart and makes you happy. And getting to have that and to wear it or to put it up on my wall is just so wonderful to me. My questions to you are, do you make anything? And if you do, what is your craft? What do you enjoy making? And also, what do you enjoy buying that other people make? Um, is there a certain type of something that just every time you see it, you have to have it? And supporting independent businesses is one of the things that is really, really important to do because it not only makes you happy, makes them happy, it supports them and it makes it so that they can do what they want. It can be terrifying not living off of a paycheck and just hoping that somebody will buy the things that you make or the music that you, cre you create but it's so worth it. It's so much fun. I want for everybody to be able to do it, even if it's only for a couple years. And uh, yeah, this is fun. Thank you guys. Hope you're having an awesome day.